I'll just look at a little Instagram story there, if you want to follow me. Uh, at <laughs> the Piers Morgan. Shameless. Actually, it's at Piers Morgan now. Shameless. I need a few more followers, just crashing towards the 600,000 mark. How are you doing? We're on air, by the way. Are we? Honestly. Oh. Their friendship um, was formed more than 30 years ago in the most unlikely of circumstances. Gazzy, you're here. <laughs> Vinny's in LA. Why did you put the bin on? <laughs> For some reason, he's put a large bin on his head. I must say, it's improved your looks, Vinny. Because you're talking rubbish, Isn't Piers. Isn't it? <laughs> you're talking rubbish. Yeah. Oh. And that is a trash can. I need the yeah. bin, Vinny. I need I've it. I've been there. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's unbelievable. 31 years ago was that game. Vinny, I want to talk to you first because... You'd obviously heard about this kid, Gaza, right? Everyone was talking about him. What was your strategy for stopping him, other than what appeared to be grabbing his lower abdominal region? Well, I'd have grabbed him by the air if he had any, so I grabbed him by the yeah. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but was it, was it actually a realisation that this, was, this guy was a pretty special player? Yeah, I mean, nowadays, you know, they're talking now, Piers, about uh, Hazard going to Real Madrid... Gaza was the hazard of his day. Were you worried about coming up against him? I was in the dressing room and the manager was saying, you're up against such and such. And all he said to me was, Gaza, good luck. <laughs> and I went, oh, no, what do you mean? He went, well, you, you know who he is when you get in the tunnel. <laughs> so I'm walking in the tunnel and I can just see someone breathing down my neck and I thought, it's got to be him. And I looked at him. I was a little fat guy. <laughs> so I was really young. And I went, hi, Vinny. I was that scared. <laughs> I really want to go back to the dressing room and say, Gaffa, I really don't feel too well. I don't care to him. <laughs> But yeah, when he actually grabbed you, how yeah. much did it uh, hurt? Paul. <laughs> really, hurt. I mean, I nearly lost my family allowance. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... <laughs> people, people talk about the pain of childbirth, and I went through this on air last yeah. week. But the pain when someone does that to you is indescribable. Oh yeah, he was, he was on it. He was like a rash all through the game, ninety minutes, man. You know when you're playing football and you ask the referee how long to go, if, say two minutes. I asked the referee after two minutes how long to go. But yeah, <laughs> it was hard playing against. But I thought I'll have to toughen up now. I'm not having to get the better of me. Quite right. Obviously, I tried to give him a little push, but that went <laughs> oof. Vinny, Vinny, you wouldn't get away with that now, would you? But there was no, you didn't get. Yes, booked. he would. <laughs> you wouldn't. The, you didn't get yellow card. Reg didn't get sent off. I mean, you know, it just the rules have completely changed. Yeah, we didn't have all the cameras that they've got now, mm. but, um, you know, it was something I got taught when I was 10, 11 years old by our uh, youth team manager, so I thought I'd try it out. You and, got uh, taught and it? it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. just so pleased he's that far away. Honestly, I'm so when happy. Casey reenacts <laughs> oh, okay, it. I've got to ask you, Paul, you're a bit, obviously a Tottenham legend. A uh, mm. pretty astonishing a moment for Tottenham. Horrible for us Arsenal fans, but yeah. Tottenham reaching the Champions League final. But, Were you watching the game the other night? Yeah, a bit, just a bit of the highlights. But... If I could relive for you one moment of your professional football career, what moment would you choose? Well, that goal against you. I guess <laughs> Arsenal at Wembley. <laughs> Why didn't you say that? And I was there um, with my dad, who's a Spurs fan. I wouldn't care. How the when you off. let fly from 30 yards at Wembley. I wouldn't care. I was giving the day off that day. I was giving the day off and I thought, oh, go on, I'll do some of your for you. <laughs> yeah, bang. yeah well, it was unbelievable. What was it like when you went out the new stadium, the new Spurs stadium? Yeah. As part of that Legends game. Yeah, what, and that you got that ovation from the crowd. I, was, I cried after work. Did you? <sighs> yeah, did I? It was good, um, you know, because I really I trained hard for over three months for that, and then obviously doing me Achilles. But the ovation I got was unbelievable, you know. And then afterwards, I had a little bit of time on my own in the dressing room and started crying. And said, "Wow, you know, for the time I spent there, and the fans were just I didn't expect that to be fair, because some of them are now playing. Sorry, the fans now probably weren't even born when I was playing right. there. So you know that stand ovation was great. It was an amazing yeah. moment, Vinny. You've known uh, Paul a long time. Obviously, he's had well-documented issues. You had them, actually, yourself. You've not had a drink now in four or five years, and you're a changed man in many respects. How tough is it for professional footballers in particular? We have all the adulation, all the crowds, all the glory, all the fame, to try and keep a lid on things. Well, it's hard when you retire, as Gaza knows. You, you're training everybody with the lads every day, and you're... And you're working out, you're having the banter, it's great fun. And, and then all of a sudden, one day it stops. You know, I was lucky enough to go on to something else. But, you know, when you try and stay in the game, um, you know, alcohol's a disease. And, and, you know, Gaza fights very well with that now, just like he did when he played. You know, I'm six years now, whereas I, I, I was more of a heavy, heavy drinker than an alcoholic. So I just think it's a young man's sport. And um, I, I retired from it, you know, but... Uh, 
you know, we've been, we've been good mates for a long, long time. You know, we've got the tour coming up. We're going to do four nights. And Gazza, I got the golf clubs. Thanks very much, them Callaways. I know. Thanks, baby. I, I, you should have said that. I was still them. Anyway, I don't like Callaways, so they're on the way of foul. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> These, These, These clubs have got that. stolen from they're my they're car. They're not that good anyway. About. <laughs> you are number one suspect, There's a load of glass in the bag. There's a load of broken glass in the bag. They're on the way. Keep it quiet. Don't tell them. Paul, very quickly, how are you doing yourself? Yeah, brilliant. You look great. Right. You're in good form? Yeah, me, me new man's just here with Fields Captain's baby. I'm, like you said, I'm on tour with this fella. Yeah. Um, when does the tour start, you guys? On the 7th of June. 7th of June? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So I'm looking forward to The band that's quite good, to be fair. Yeah. We're just hammering each other. All, all well, I would love to pay to watch you hammering Vinnie Jones for two hours. Uh, just say, ha happy that. birthday to Siobhan as well. She and Zeb wait for the oh, world. Okay. I'll, I'll get stick when I get back to Leicester. All right, great. But yeah, everything's going well. Great. I mean, I'm enjoying life. Great to and, see you. And I made, made keep like that way. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing that fella again. Gaza, brilliant to see you. Vinny, thanks for joining us in LA, mate, and uh, look forward to the Cheers, tour. Boys. I'll be coming to watch you two heckling from the front row. Good to see you guys. Hey, Vinny, you're not You won't be in the front <laughs> row, Piers, I can assure you of that, son. <laughs>